Maverick has been going to a doggy daycare for about 10 years. Correct. Has Maverick had any issues before? Uh, at Sure, yeah. What type of issues in the past? Just snapping at other dogs, other dogs snapping at him. Has Maverick ever injured another dog that you're aware of? Not that I'm aware of. Okay. So, Ms. Callahan, you receive a phone call at some point during your vacation. Tell me what happened. So, my now husband was on vacation. I was actually, I stayed back to work. Um, okay. So I was at work and I got the phone call. They let me know that an incident had occurred. They could either take her to the emergency vet or I could come there and get them and take her myself. Um, so I immediately left to go get her. And while I was on the way there, they explained to me that um, she was bit in the face and that's what I was gonna walk into. That's a pretty significant injury. That's one of the bites on the face that Pepper yes. suffered. And that's after it was cleaned up and started to heal? That is um, two days later at our first vet visit. They took those for us. And then this is another photograph. This is exhibit A, page 12. The bite actually hurt her gums. It was a pretty deep bite. Yes. Um, they had to clip around the wound and clean it out. She also had a bunch of medications to go home on for pain, infection, and things of that nature. She had two follow-up visits at our normal vet, and those were just monitoring of the wounds healing. Okay, Mr. Kruzek, you received a phone call as well on this particular weekend. Correct. Tell me what happened. Mine was, I guess, a little bit different than hers. They told me it was no big deal. Uh, I actually got the voicemail the day that I landed. I was you had on been my traveling. Way to... yeah, I yeah. Was going... yeah, and I was literally going to head over to the daycare to pick them up anyway. Okay. And I saw it was from the daycare, so I, I listened to it. And the voicemail said it was a small incident that the dog, my dog, seemed uh, overly stressed, very overly stimulated, had, that they had noticed this in the yard for several days. So you headed over to the facility at that point? Correct. You picked up Maverick and your other dog, yeah. took them home? That's correct. When was the next time you heard anything about an issue at the daycare? Uh, well, let's just back up. Yeah. While I was picking them up, okay. they, the, the girl behind the counter did ask if I would be interested in, you know, helping pay for the damages. So I asked, I said, okay, well, what, how much? And they're like, well, they're at the vet right now. So I'm like, well, you can't give me any further information. I'm a little bit annoyed that, you know, this happened and you didn't provide the proper care for my animal. You left, left him out in the yard while you, he was overly stressed. Right. Your words, and uh, according to your website, you guys are professionals, you know, trained at animal dog behavior, but yeah. yet, and let me pull that up because that's one of the things you provided that's us correct. from the doggy daycare website. That is correct. Which explains that they have certified camp counselors who are extensively trained in dog behavior. And right above that, it says safety is our top priority. So right. why would you allow an overstimulated, stressed out animal to remain in a yard for right. several days? Okay, so Ms. Callahan, why are you suing Mr. Kruzek, and why have you not pursued the doggy daycare facility who was responsible for watching your animal? As he did say, his dogs have never been at that location before. Right. So they are frequents of the other location that my animals also go to. In speaking with those employees at our normal location for daycare, they know about his dog's behaviors and they know when it's time to take him out of the yard. They expressed that to me multiple times. They have been with that dog for years. And so in going to a new facility, there's really no way for them to know his specific dog's like trends and emotions and like how he expresses frustration. Additionally, like in the video that I do have, it does not appear that he's being antagonized, especially not by my dog. My dog is simply there. So one of the things that you've brought is the video yes. of the altercation between the dogs. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and watch that. Okay, that's a lot of dogs in one sort of play area. Am I right? Um, not for that specific location or no. daycare, no. There's, it's also bigger than what you're seeing on the camera. Why did you both go to a different location than your regular location on this occasion? Um, my reason, Memorial Day weekend, ours is a little bit smaller in our hometown, so we, they were full. What about you, Mr. Cruz? They told me that that was their other location. Got it. I would assume that they knew about my animal. Why would they steer me over there? And now when, you know, it seems like the blame is being pointed on them, they're going to go, well, we didn't know about your dog.